Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be trying something new. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a malware known as Petya. Petya is typically considered a Trojan horse and a crypto virus, however, I'm just going to call it Petya. I'm not even sure if that's how you actually pronounce it, but that's what I'm going to pronounce it as. Now, I was able to just download this off the internet. If you're going to download this, I highly, highly recommend running it in a virtual machine, turning off your network adapter. Petya malware will basically completely screw your system. Your master boot record will be overwritten with something completely different, and overall, your computer will be unusable. You're going to have to reinstall Windows, maybe even do a few BIOS tweaks to get your computer up and running again. All of your data will be lost, including, you know, a simple text document on the desktop. Everything will be gone if you run this malware. Downloading the file doesn't actually give you the malware. Downloading the file is just like a file. Nothing happens until you actually, you know, open it. Just a little bit of background before we begin. Petya was first seen in March of 2016 where email attachments got infected. People would download email attachments and overall they would just completely screw their systems. In June of 2017, a new variant of Petya was used for a global cyber attack which mainly targeted Ukraine. Apparently, this Petya version has some kind of ties to the WannaCry ransomware, which we may take a look at in a future video. Now, to even get this to run, we have to accept an administrative privilege. Now, if we open this, it just basically says that the publisher is unknown and you're opening Petya. There's no kind of sign that this is a virus. In fact, the little icon on our desktop is literally an installer. It looks like we're going to install, you know, I would say maybe WinRAR. So we can actually change this name just to WinRAR. And if you put this on someone's desktop, they would be totally, they would be so confused and they'd run it and they would infect their whole system. Now, like I said, the payload of this virus is extremely dangerous and it's going to completely destroy our whole system. Let's just go ahead and open. So like I said, when we open this, it's going to ask us to run, of course, now WinRAR install. We're going to go ahead and click yes. And let's wait. All we have to do is wait. Uh, from here, we literally will lose our entire system. So we see we're loading here, we're using our system. Oh, there goes everything. My mouse just stopped working. My screen just went blank. The transport determined that the remote system is down. And now check disk is taking a look at our file system. Uh, we are repairing file system on C and TFS. One of our disks contains errors and needs to be repaired. This may take several hours to complete and it's recommended to let it complete. Now this is obviously a recreation of what the real check disk is. Uh, it doesn't look this weird, but you see it's not going to take several hours to complete. And this is it. This is the payload of the virus. This is all we get. And I know it's flashing, I put a warning up. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and press any key like it says. And now we have became victim of the Petya ransomware. The hard disks of your computer have been encrypted with a military grade encryption algorithm. Not sure if that's true or not. We may have to try that in a later. There is no way to restore your data without a special key. You can purchase this key on the dark net page shown in step two. Now, the key to download this is on the dark web. And obviously we're not going to that website. I don't want to get involved with dark web mess. But we have to download the Tor browser, which our computer's fried, so we can't. Go to one of these links and enter a decryption code. And then, you know, we go in the key, we enter our key here and decrypt it. Now, if people can actually decrypt this, I have no clue. Um, I have no clue if this can actually be decrypted. Uh, all I know is that they want you to buy that. I would like to know if we could actually repair this. I don't think we can, but... Let's just go ahead and boot into the Windows 7 installer here. Let's see if the Windows 7 installer repair our computer will do anything. I really don't think that it will, but we can always try it and just kind of see what happens. Apparently, since I had VMware Easy Install done, um, it completely, it won't even let us go into the setup. So even though it just started copying files, I truly believe that Boot Manager is missing. So installing Windows 7 actually did kind of screw up the payload here but the only way to of course truly get back into your operating system is to reinstall it and then again you'll lose all your data so this is a highly dangerous virus Windows Defender blocks it 
I had to go through very painful things to try to get Windows Defender to even let me download it. Um, and this is a very interesting payload, so I would highly recommend trying this out in a safe virtual machine. If you don't run this in a virtual machine, you will literally lose everything, and I've lost everything before. It's not nice. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of technology videos, including device restorations. And I really hope you enjoyed this kind of content. Maybe I'll do some more virus testing in the future.